Hello everyone, I'm Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about Iron Meadow by Siren Jaza. <sighs> okay, now that we're all here, um, I read this book in August. It is now late September. But I think um, it took me a while to make this video just because I literally wanted to just scream at you that you should read this book and I felt like I needed a little bit more, a little bit more content in general to make this video rather than just be by this book for like five minutes. Um, so Iron Widow is a sci-fi YA novel um, inspired by pre-colonial China. And it is, it's pitched by the publisher as like Pacific Rim meets The Handmaid's Tale, which is very accurate. And and I feel like in the past, whenever a tagline's been very accurate, it, I usually end up really enjoying the book because the tagline is what kind of draws me in. This book is full of female rage and I am 100% here for it. Um, it's set in a world where humanity is under attack by these aliens called Hundans. And so the boys go out as pilots in these mechas, um, assisted by, um, by girls. And of course the boys are the pilot heroes and the girls are referred to as concubines because a lot of them don't make it out alive uh, due to their lower spirit level. Can you kind of feel where I'm going? Because like, I feel like my, my rage is already kind of rising. Um, our main character, Wu Zetian, um, her sister um, was killed by one of these pilots and so she's out for revenge. And, oh boy, does she get that revenge. And how? It turns out that Zetian has a very high spirit level and she gets paired up with Ali Shimin, who is like the top um, Maca pilot just I love Zetian so much in that she is uncompromising she takes no shit um, she is not the nicest person but she doesn't have to be and I think this is one of this is one of the things that I really appreciated about Zal's writing is that you, characters don't have to be likable but as a reader you have to understand them and I feel like especially with Zetian, I was like, I, I understand you. Like, I, from everything you see in the book, it, it it can only lead to one conclusion eventually. And the, the deeper you get into the story, the more you go like, okay, this is the ending we're going to. Of course, then she throws in an ending that completely caught me off guard and um, kind of not quite destroyed me, but it was very close. I finished it like in the morning, when Dean had already got off to work and I texted him and was like, I'm not okay. I, and he's like, oh yeah, when's the next book out? And I was like, this is a proof copy. The first one isn't out yet. I don't know how we're gonna survive. Sachin is the main character, okay? She is the main character. She's based on Empress Wu Zetian, who was the, is it the first or is it either the first or the only um, truly legitimately reigning uh, female emperor in China? And oh my god, is she... I feel like badass is not the right word. I feel like that's too reductive. Um, she is smart, she is cunning, she is incredibly strong, she is... But at the same time then, you know, th there's all these other elements, you know. Her feet have been bound, which means that walking is incredibly painful. So, th it's so layered. I mean, I feel, I feel like both the characters and the story are so incredibly well crafted. I, I, you should just all read it, okay? I, <laughs> I feel like this this is what, what it comes down to. So apart from Zetian, there are two other main characters. One is Lee Shimin, who is the um, basically the main hero pilot. He has his own kind of trouble, okay? Um, a lot of it is to do in um, prejudice against his heritage um, and against the fact that he murdered, he's a murderer. Uh, but of course that doesn't stop society from, you know, 
kind of leashing him out to save everybody else and then not giving him the praise he deserves but anyway and then our third character is Yizi um he's like a rich boy <laughs> and Zatyun and, and him have, have kind of known each other for a long time so he he's like her childhood friend and the three of them are such an interesting triangle yes triangle this is not a spoiler okay because Zeran has literally been talking about this for forever um but their dynamic as a trio is fantastic it is so well written and it's so oh, I just I'm just living for for the three of them I am I am absolutely and this is the thing where I feel like this is finally not a triangle where you go like oh it's obvious this is like a proper triangle where everybody is equal and though to be honest Zetin's kind of she's a boss I'm just 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 putting that out there I feel like the dynamic of the three of them is what makes this book so fantastic you get to not only follow Zetin throughout her entire story arc but you get that like richness and the depth and and she you know the whole arc is assisted by not only her um, childhood relationship and then current relationship with Yeezy but also her kind of being thrust into this partnership with Shimin that she didn't want, he didn't want, um, but that they're kind of forced into and how they kind of deal with that or not deal with that uh, at certain points in the story. And so I just I just loved how that became such a, a tight triangle. Yes, as, as Satyan says, the strongest of forms. So there you have it. That's, I think, all I want to say about this book. You should go and read it. <laughs> I feel like this is the one thing I'm going to continue doing. Um, I, I'm really looking forward to the next one. I really feel that it's such a great... Um, it's such a great blend of Chinese history and sci-fi. And it is done in in such a way that's still very much focused on the human aspect and, and about our three main characters that I, I I literally I the amount of times that I just kind of put the book down for a second I was like that's it can never write anything as good as that <laughs> how can anyone ever top this was kind of like my thought whenever I was I was reading I feel like this really fits into the lineup of feminist writing by Asian authors that I've done over the past couple of months like there's like a, a quite good ones that have been like made me really angry and and I feel like this one is, is such a fantastic addition to that. I would very much recommend it. Do let me know down below in the comments if you've read it or if you want to read Iron Widow. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. You, you know the drill, right? And I'll speak to all of you very soon. Bye. <laughs>